friend, it's Pixie. I'm glad you could join me. It's certainly been a while. Uh, I will explain why in a moment. Uh, what you're seeing in the footage right now is just um, warm-up sketching. Uh, I just wanted to say that um, before we get into it. Uh, I just uh, scribbled the plant I'm gonna be drawing and did some like circles and lines and things and then I drew uh, my feet, which I saw in front of me, um, to get me going, kind of, because uh, the plant is also drawn from life, so I wanted to get the get the brain uh, working, you know. Um, I'm sorry that I sound a bit congested. That's because I am. Um, summer got here, and my body rewarded me with a terrible virus. Um, but on the bright side, I have finally found some time to make a video. Um, so, because uh, of my unwanted and unexpected hiatus, I thought I would take the opportunity to talk about priorities with regards to your creative, your creative pursuits. Let's start with uh, my the the reason. I I didn't post videos for a while, uh, so I made the commitment to make a video every week because I like regularity and I think a lot of other people also like that, um, and uh, it just felt, it, it felt right. But um, at the end of April, with school and uh, uh, political stuff, and uh, Camp NaNoWriMo, um, it just got to be too much for me, and I had to prioritize my health, so that's why I didn't post a video uh, for a few weeks now, which, I mean, I guess you've seen if you follow me on Instagram or Tumblr, but I, I wanted to address it because I made the commitment to post weekly, and uh, even though I don't have many subscribers, I feel that it's it's only fair to honor that commitment by addressing it. Um, and uh, this leads me to what I sort of want to talk about, uh, namely priorities and how to prioritize um, art and creativity in your life. Because... Uh, you kind of often hear when uh, people talk about how to fit a daily creative habit into your life, whether it's drawing or writing, that you need to sacrifice something. Um, and uh, that is absolutely correct. But I feel like I way too often hear people suggest that you sacrifice sleep and... Um, I think that's terrible advice. I think that if anything you should sacrifice maybe Netflix or social media or something. Maybe stop following that TV show or I don't know. Um, but I, I never think you should sacrifice your health because while keeping creative habits is really awesome it's it's not it's not worth it in the long run if you uh like run your mind and body into the ground to keep them up so um i would say that it's about finding like a healthy way to do it um and not set the bar too high and i don't mean that you shouldn't pressure yourself at all um, like, okay, for example, these past few weeks when I've been really busy, I've, uh, I've been drawing every day, um, but I had to give up posting videos, um, and I've been writing, not every day, but, um, semi-consistently, at least. Uh, about Camp NaNoWriMo, by the way, I, um... Uh, I didn't reach my word count goal, but I did get a lot written, and uh, I'm actually quite happy with the material 
I mean, it's a draft, so like, I'm not happy, happy. Um, but I, I really feel like I can work with it, so that's, that's really good. Um, and I'm excited about it. But yeah, um, so like for me, priorities, I, I very consciously thought about it because I, I have very little energy as it is, so I need to really like make conscious choices about what to prioritize. And uh, priority number one is to stay alive. And uh, to do that, I need an income. And my source of income currently is going to school. So I need to get through school. That has to be priority number one. And the second priority is um, my, my political life. Because um, I find that to be more meaningful than the art I do for my personal enjoyment. Art and writing are super important to me, but they are not more important than uh, working to make this world better, because I'm not satisfied with it the way it is. So I I gotta do what I can to, to change that. And... Uh, Obviously, that work is something I need to balance as well for health and stuff. Um, but yeah, and then comes um, art and writing. Now, I go to writing school, so um, uh, so school is writing, so that's really fortunate. And um, actually, some exciting news. Um, I applied to an art school here in town. And uh, I got in, so in the fall I'm gonna be going to art school. Um, so then it'll be writing, that's like priority number three, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's really exciting. Um, oh, my little succulent illustration is almost done. I, uh, I didn't think, I didn't like how it looked super much. So I decided to um, uh, outline it a bit and make it more, like, illustration-y um, to sort of roll with the fact that it doesn't look very realistic. Um, and I, I like how it turned out. It's charming. Um, working with my limitations. Um, I mean, I'm going to learn stuff when I go to art school, so I'm excited about that. But regarding my posting schedule, because uh, throughout May, I, uh, I'm, I've been looking over what I need to do, and uh, I'm not going to be posting weekly during May either. Um, so my uh, my new YouTube commitment is posting videos when I am able to, and uh, that's probably bad for my. YouTube career, um, they all say that you should post regularly, but that's just not something I'm able to do right now while respecting my limitations, so I will post when I can because even though I can't post every week, I still have a lot of things that I want to do and I want to share, and uh, yeah, I, I don't want to give it up completely, so this is the compromise I have settled on. I don't have much else to say, so thank you for watching, and uh, watch this space for future fun stuff. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself, have fun, and make stuff. Bye!